Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we solve lead code SQL questions. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking a SQL interview is a very important role for achieving a dream job role. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are already available in the lead code platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in the lead code platform are there in my github repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. In addition to that, I have segregated the videos into 5 different playlists, namely easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question. This uh, premium level subscription question to as premium playlist and all questions ordered as a one single playlist ordered by their sequence number in their ascending order. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. The question is type medium, question number 1270, all people's report to this given manager. Okay, let's see it in lead code. It is already asked in Google Adobe. Okay, let's see. They have given an employees table which is consisting of employee, their name and also their manager ID. Okay, employee ID is the primary key for this table each row of this table indicates the employee with employee id and okay and reports the work to okay Write an SQL query to find employee ID of all employees that directly or indirectly report their work to the head of the company. Okay. The indirect relations between managers will not exceed three managers as the company is small. Okay. Return the result table in any order. The query resulting table should be in the following example. Okay. Okay. Got it. Let's see the table in the mirror table. This is the sample table they have given. Okay. And this is their sample output. Okay. Here you can see these are the employees, these are their employee names and their manager ID. Here you can see only employee one is the boss, so he is the manager to himself. Everybody else will be having their respect to managers. They said that we can know the employee of each employee by one level category. And the maximum level relationship between employee and the manager will be 3. This is what they mentioned here. The indirect relation between managers. So they are saying either they should be having any direct relationships or indirect relationships. Let's see one example. If you see 77 employee has manager 1 as their direct manager. Means it is a direct relationship. Let's say for another example, okay, 4 is there, 4's manager is 2 and 2's manager is who? 1. Okay. This is an indirect, 2 level direction, this is a uh, 1 level manager. So what they are saying, maximum 3 and minimum 1 can be there. Okay, let's see the 3 level relationships, what is this there? So let's take one more thing. This is employee. This is manager one. Let's duplicate it. Let's try to duplicate one more. Okay.
okay as this one is employee let's remove it this is the boss so he this employee can't be his own manager ID. we want about only regular employees if you see 3 and 3 is connected who is 3 and 3 again connected to this guy again to this guy again to this guy okay similarly 2 and 1 is connected who is 2 and 1 connected to this guy 1 is 1 is connected to this guy means this is second level manager and this is this it this is third level manager and this is his detail okay so let's see it again for uh, for daniel 2 it is 2 and for 1 it is again 1 and again for 1 it is again 1 again 7 4 4 is 2 and 2 is 1 and 1 is having a relationship with 1 similarly 8 3 3 is where yeah 3 is here yeah. and 3 is having the same relationship 3 is having the same relationship that's it okay again 9 8 where is 8 8 is here 3 is connected to 3 and 3 is again connected to 3 similarly for 7 1 7 is connected to 1 1 1 so if you want to know the single level or thrice level connection ship in the first employee id employee should not be one and here manager id details will be there so it should be only one here also it should be only one or it should be only one okay only that connections are connected let's see this for example 3 is to 3 and this 3 is connected to 3 and this 3 is connected to 3 there is no relationship here let's see for 2 okay 2 is connected to 1 1 1 so you can see this is an one level relationship 1 is there here there is a relationship let's see for 4 again 4 is having 2 2 is having 1 and 1 is having 1 okay there is 1 here similarly let's see for 7 7 is having 4 4 is having 2 and 2 is having 1 this is a 3 level manager this is a 2 level manager this is a direct manager let's see the next thing 8 8 is connected to 3 3 is connected to 3, 3 is connected to nowhere else we can see in the manager level 1, so it is false. Let's see the 9 next thing. 9. 9 is connected to 8. 8 is connected to 3, 3 is connected to 3. This is also not having oneness relationship. Let's see for the last one. 77, 1, 1, 1. So we have direct relationship. So what we will do? We will do a relationship between themselves with the three tables and we will be con keeping condition that any one of these three employee ID from the second table, third table, fourth table should be one and the employee ID from the first table should not be equal to one. Okay, let's write the code for that. From employees e1 in our join employees e2 on e1 dot manager id if you see this first table first table manager is connected to second table employee id again second manager to third one Similarly, fourth one equal to e2 manager id. Okay. Similarly, in the join employees 
e3 on e2 dot manager id equal to sorry it should be employee id similarly e2 dot manager should be equal to e3 dot employee id similarly in a join the last table employees as e4 on e3 dot manager id equal to e4 dot employee id okay we have created the relationship between all the tables now what we want only rows from only employee id from employee table such that it should not be one and in its connections either e2 e3 either e2 e3 e4 any one of them should be one so we'll take a steep the query condition where e1 dot employee id not equal to 1 and e2 dot employee id equal to 1 or e3 dot employee id equal to 1 or e4 dot employee id equal to 1 okay we have taken now select the employee 1 dot employee as employee id Let's submit it. Yes. Yes. Our solution has been successfully accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends or colleagues who are preparing for the data analyst or data scientist interview. Just keep your comments in the comment section below. If you want more things, if you want any new advancements or anything, just give me it. I will drop it all in the next few weeks. Just be disciplined, complete all the 230 questions which are there in the medium of lead code. One day you will be etching your data analyst or a data scientist role. Thanks for watching. This is Samuel Prasad.